hello friends today i will show you how to derive the joule's law so the joule's law is h equals to i square into r into t that is current is square of current into resistance into time this is a heating effect so how we can prove this this is called joule's law it heating effect is directly proportional to the square of its current and its resistance or time taken see that we have to prove so so by ohm's law by ohm's law we have what we have by ohm's law we have v equals to i into r that is the equation 1 and through ohm's law we have this equation and by the definition of current by the definition nation of current current what we have i is current equals to q by t charge by t time taken so this is the equation now q is equals to i into t this is the equation number second so we have the equation number first we have the equation number second so we know the potential difference potential difference 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 is the ratio ratio of work done and charges of column is of column so this is the we have and the put and the work done is equals to v into q so now we have the value of v and q the main basic to find v and q to uh, to include uh, or to resolve in this equation so w is equals to v so here i into r i into r q is equals to i into t so i into t so w is equals to i square i square into r into t now we have w we look uh, let's look at w and here we have to prove h so it is a heating effect this is a uh, work done so we know energy energy can neither be created nor be destroyed destroyed energy can neither be created nor be destroyed so since 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 uh, work work done is converted into heating effects so h equals to w so here we have h equals to i square into r t and we can also write in in this form which is like that the heat is directly proportion proportional to square of its current resistance and time so in the statement form we can write this 
and if the derive the question demands the derive then we can derive this okay so this is the easiest form i found so let me tell in the comment section what do you want and what do you feel uh, to solve this equation so thank you